Well, hey everybody, welcome into this video tutorial brought to you as always, by touchvid.com. Now today we're going to take a look at multicam editing in Premiere Pro. And if you don't know what multicam editing is, number one, please stick around and check to see what it is. Because I think you're going to love it. Even if it's not something you use every day, it's such a time-saving feature. You'll use it at some point. Heck, you might just find a reason to use it because it's that stinking cool. Um, we're going to talk about multicam editing in Premiere Pro today. I have some video clips. There's a link down in the description. You can go, you trade me, give me your email address, sign up for my newsletter. I got the two clips we're using today. You can download them. I'll, I'll kind of shorten them up a little bit so it's not a huge download for you. But they're two video clips so you can practice and play along with multicam editing in the next five minutes. You don't need to go and shoot your own video and let it be some pie in the sky theory you heard about once. You can actually do multicam editing. Uh, but it's something that I think you absolutely need to know. When I first learned about multicam editing, it was... It wasn't quite mind-blowing, but it was whatever's right before mind-blowing. That's what it was. It's an amazing time-saving feature. If you do any shooting with multiple cameras or interview-style video footage where you're using more than one camera, multicam editing, absolutely, you want to know how to do it. So let's take a look here at multicam editing in Premiere Pro. All right, so I've got two video clips, like I said, of myself. I'm just reading off like a Teddy Roosevelt speech, an excerpt of it. Um, and I've got sort of like a bottom of the rib cage to the top of my head type shot here. And I also have this shot, which is more of like, a, you know, I don't know, just slightly more cropped. Um, now, let's just create our first multicam uh, sequence, composition, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll begin working on it and you'll see how it works. So what you want to do is select the clips that are going to make up your multicam sequence. Um, um, now this, I only have two clips here, but you can do this with, as far as I know in Premiere, I believe you can do it with up to 16 different cameras at once. So you can have a massive sequence going on. We just have our two though. So I'm going to select my two cameras, right click and choose create multi-camera source sequence. And we get a little dialog box that appears that says, hey, how would you like to name this? I'm going to choose custom name and I'm just going to call it uh, multi-cam hyphen edits or something like that. Next up, and this is pretty important, the synchronize point. So obviously, if uh, the way multicam edit works, just like in 10 seconds or less, is you're able to take multiple video tracks, mash them together, and then it, within Premiere, basically click wherever you want different cameras to come in. So you're doing this interview with me, and let's say I had a camera over here looking at the profile of my face, like boom, right now I could switch to another camera to show you a different angle of me, and then boom, switch and show a camera angle from over here, and then boom, switch and show like a, a camera angle coming down from up here. Multicam makes it so, it did like with a click of a button, you don't have to worry about chopping and knifing and splicing together clips. Multicam does it all. You just say like, boom, right there. That's where I want the change to happen. So in order obviously to do this, we need to take any audio tracks that we have and synchronize everything together. This is why you want any cameras that you're shooting with on set, capture audio with everything. Even if it's just the crappy onboard mic on your camera, if you can capture some kind of audio into your device, uh, Premiere very easily, as you're going to see here in a moment, uh, will sync everything up. So the first thing we have is synchronize based on in or out points. So we can set actual in or out points on any video clip and just make or have a Premiere Pro sync based on our in or out points. This can be useful if there's a particular moment in the video where we definitely want to make sure everything is synced up perfectly. Uh, time code, this has to do with using jam sync time code if you're familiar with using that. Um, if not, I'm, again, I'm, I, I can't really explain how jam sync works in 10 seconds or less, uh, but it, it's a way of synchronizing all of your cameras. But last but not least, the thing we're going to focus on is the audio functionality. Now, this is Premiere's like smart audio synchronization feature and it examines the waveform on each video track and it will perfectly align all of your audio and do it so so quickly you're going to see uh, camera one here has our high quality audio feed coming into it camera two has kind of the crappy onboard mic that's catching all kinds of ambient noise um, and it's going to sync the two together really nicely uh, so that's really cool and last but not least down here in the audio section sequence settings camera one this basically it's just like hey when when multicam is switching from camera to camera which audio should remain constant or should any audio remain constant so camera one is basically going to tell Premiere, look, take my the audio track for my first camera, my first camera shot, which has my high quality audio, and make that constant. So even when I'm switching to my other camera, just leave that high quality audio underneath, right? Only switch the actual visuals and don't touch the audio. All cameras, that'll kind of like mash both of your audio tracks together or all of your audio tracks together. Switch audio, that will switch not only the visual, but it also switch the audio. So depending on what you want to do with multicam, that can actually be a super duper useful feature. I'm going to stick with camera one here and uh, uh, audio channels preset, we're going to leave it automatic. And I am going to hit OK. It's going to just voila, push all the audio together. And there is our multi-can. I, I misspelled multi-cam. Uh, 
How brilliant of me. Uh, Multi-cam edit sequence right there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just select that sequence. Our process clips, by the way, it's just camera angles one and two sitting in that folder. What I want to do is right click on multi-cam edit and choose new sequence from clip. And what's going to happen here, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. There's our new sequence. It just appeared right there in our bin. Uh, I can actually close that bin. Uh, we have here that multi-cam sequence drop down here into our timeline. But you can see that we, we really can only see our one video track, the, what the video is going to look like. That's a little distracting having two of me up on screen. Um, but this is, this is all that we're going to see because we need to enter into our multi-cam editing mode in order to actually edit multi-cam. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, one of the ways you can do it is by hitting this little plus icon here and choosing the multi-cam, toggle multi-cam or multi-camera view and drag that icon down here to our toolbar, hit OK and we can just click on this and now we can see there are both of our camera angles and this is kind of like the composite version the, the finished version of the video if you will what we're getting um, but you can also use the hotkey shift to zero that'll toggle you in and out um, now doing or performing a multicam edit is really as easy and actually now that I'm looking at my video down here I think I'm going to trim I'm going to select my video here I'm just going to trim it off to like that All right, and this will probably be about what you guys download right about here um, all I need to do at this point is just begin playing through my video clip down here. And when I do, I can just click on whichever camera I wish I want to appear in my video. So I'm going to start playing it. A horse in one sense, the first essential for a man being good and I can switch to camera two. And I'll switch back to camera one. And I'm just kind of going like based on instinct. I'm just slapping some edits into here. And we'll go back to camera two here. And once more back to camera one. And then I'm just going to hit space bar to stop playing. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna zoom in here. Whoop, make sure I select my timeline. I'm going to zoom in here. And we can see that everywhere where we switched the, the camera, we got a cut here in our like our video on the timeline. Notice the audio didn't get changed. Just the video is, is being affected here. So as we come through, watch the composite video over here. We're at camera one. Boom. We switch right to camera two, back to camera one, camera two, and then back to camera one. Oh, you know what, and I should break in here and let you guys know that one of the other things that you can do, not only as you're watching through, can you click on whatever camera it is that you wish to switch to. All right, if I come over here, you can simply press the number for that camera. So camera number one is the number one on your keyboard. Camera number two is the number two, all the way up to camera 15 or 16. Uh, so we can, I can just play this and I can hit the number two, it's going to switch me to camera two. I can hit number one and it's going to switch me back to camera one. You can see those two cuts made, uh, were made there. So uh, just an amazing little hotkey that you should definitely know about as well. Didn't want to forget to throw that in here. So with this little interruption out of the way, back to the tutorial. So very, very quickly and easily you can go through and you can hammer out these interview style videos. So cool. But what if you want to make changes? What if you realize, hey, that one cut was not really where I wanted it to be or I want a different video clip altogether where that cut is. Let's take a look. Uh, so let's say here, see this cut? Maybe we want this cut to happen right here where kind of the audio pauses for a brief moment. Maybe there's a change in thought, a brief pause. The break would seem more natural there. How do we do that? Well. You can just use what's called the rolling edit tool right here. It's this kind of double dual arrow. You grab that cut, drag it right over, boom. It's that easy. We could take this maybe, drag it over to there. We could take this cut and drag it up to here. I'm going to shift over a little bit, and maybe I want to take this cut to here. All right? So you can see that easily we adjusted all those cuts that we just made. Now, if you're looking at this cut or this, this video clip here, uh, clip number two, and you say, you know what, I actually – I want it to switch to, or maybe I want the whole thing to be camera one, right? Like this whole thing really should be camera one. Well, you can simply select that little clip, right? That bit of the clip. You see, we've, it's not selected now. Now it's selected. I can select it and just press on camera one. And you can see now it says MC1, right? Now there's MC2, back to MC1. So that becomes clip one. But what if we really just want there to be, we do want this whole thing to be MC2, but we want this little bit, this little bit of audio here. See, it's kind of between those two little gaps in audio. I want that to switch back to camera one. How do I insert a cut there? Well, what we need to do is hold down our command or control key and click on camera one. You see that it places a cut. We've switched this whole camera, uh, this whole clip here to, to camera one. And then we'll go right over here to this cut and we will command or control click on this camera angle and it's going to cut back to camera two. So you can just go in so quickly 
and so easily make not only this complex multicam edit with multiple cameras, but you can go in with the rolling edit tool, push and pull things all over the place, and you can select clips and swap them with other clips. And, you know, if you got six cameras and you just set a, you know, hey, clip three is really supposed to be clip six and clip five, it should be clip one or whatever. You can go in and you can make these edits so fast and so easily and everything like that. It's a beautiful thing. And I really haven't done, even done a half uh, or shown you the half of how time saving this can be uh, when you're editing big interview or podcasts. Like so many people are doing these video podcasts these days. This makes it so fast and so easy to edit that kind of stuff. So for multicam editing in Premiere Pro and for the rolling edit tool and making cuts and moving your cuts and switching cameras and everything else like that, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.